Hi, everyone. This is E. David Crawford. I'm editor-in-chief of Grand Rounds in Urology. Just this last week, the ESMO meeting was held in Madrid, Spain, and there were a number of interesting highlights that came out regarding prostate cancer. Joining me is Dr. Steve Friedland uh, from Mount uh, Sinai Medical Center in uh, Los Angeles, and Steve was there, made an outstanding presentation on a trial called the Embark Trial. So, Steve, can you just highlight what you think were the, the major two or three things that came out of ESMO this year? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Um, so, obviously, self-serving, but I'd love to highlight the work that we did, um, presented at ESMO, simultaneously published in New England Journal of Medicine Evidence. Basically, was looking at the Embark trial, um, randomized trial uh, of how to do systemic therapy for high-risk bowel chemical recurrent patients, uh, enzalutamide combination, ADT alone, or uh, enzalutamide monotherapy, previously showed a delayed metastasis-free survival, um, both arms, interventional arms. But the question is, how did it affect my life? So that's the data we are presenting here. And I think the take-home message is you don't have to sacrifice quality of life to get those cancer benefits. We actually saw on the global scale, no significant differences in quality, global quality of life as you break down some of the domains, there are some subtle differences, a little more hormonal symptoms with combination, better sexual activity with the monotherapy, but globally, no difference in quality of life. So we don't have to sacrifice quality of life. Um, I think the other key finding for me was the PSMA4 clinical trial. Um, very, very interesting trial. So this is for patients who had failed a novel hormonal agent, um, had a positive PSMA scan, and so we're eligible for PSMA lutetium therapy, Pluvico. Um, about 90% of patients were able to have that positive scan and be eligible. And then we're randomized to Pluvico or the other AR targeted agents. So if you fail to Abby, you'd go to Enza. If you failed to Enza, you'd go to Abby. Um, and you know the primary outcome was radiographic progression-free survival. And it was in that sense, it was a very positive study as Rish was 0.43, so 57% delay in progression. Um, so very clinically relevant, uh, important outcome in that sense, uh, improved quality of life, uh, preventing delays in quality of life um, decline. And what was interesting, though, is if you look at what happens after the fact. So, but in the trial, about 84% of patients who received the other AR targeted agent actually crossed over to receive uh, Pluvico, PSMA lutetium therapy. And what was interesting is if you looked at overall survival like between the arms, absolutely no difference, none whatsoever, not even a signal. If anything, the other AR targeted therapy had slightly better overall survival, but really negative for overall survival. If you adjust for the crossover, there's a suggestion of benefit, hazard ratio is 0 0.8. Um, but you know, we already know from the vision trial that Pluvico extends survival post-chemo. This is now moving it up to pre-chemo. And the fact that with crossover, we see no overall survival difference tells me, you know, this is this is one of the tools we should be using for prostate cancer. I'm not sure the exact timing makes a big difference. Um, but it is a, a tool patients should receive somewhere along their journey, assuming they're eligible. So, so this is a presentation that Oliver Sardar gave. Uh, the on presidential this. address, yeah. correct. Um, you know, it's sort of what we've seen with almost every drug that, that's out there. They started out in the worst patient post-chemo or even further than that, and then moved forward. And um, you, you just discussed where enzalutamide uh, is right now. Yeah. Now that's moving up and it was post chemo and uh, and so forth and, and it's moved up earlier. Um, this is a this is an interesting uh, finding uh, study uh, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. But uh, anything else that came out of there that you can think of? I, I think those were probably two of the, the biggest yeah. take home messages. I think there's some updated data from other trials, but really these are the, the two new exciting data that I saw. Great. Steve, thanks for your time and sharing your uh, views with our audience. And uh, we'll touch base with you in the future. Thanks.